Hey guys, this unfair genie problem is a really fun one. So in this problem, we're given a fair six-sided dice, which means we have a probability of one six for any given number. In this game, if the die is even, we receive six dollars for every four dollars that we bet. If the die is odd, we receive nine dollars for every six dollars that we bet. There's three even numbers and three odd numbers, meaning there's a three over six probability the die to land on either an odd or even number. Let's simplify this to one half. Now we need to define a couple variables. So let's define x as the amount we bet if we predict the die is going to be even. Let y be the amount we bet that it's odd. So let's first look at x. We have two options. If we win, the net gain per unit is $6 minus $4 we bet, which is a total of $2. So the probability that we win is the probability that the die is even which is one half that we found earlier. And if we lose, the net gain is negative $4 from that cost to bet. So the probability that we lose is the probability that the die is odd, which is also one half. So let's calculate the expected value. The expected value is gonna be one half times the net gain, just $2 in this case, plus the one half times the net loss, which is negative $4. So we sum this up when we get negative $1. So for the X dollars, the expected value is X over four times the negative $1, which is negative X over four. Now let's look at Y. If we win, the net gain per unit is $9 minus the six dollars it cost to bet which is three dollars the probability that we win is equal to the probability that the die is odd which is one half and if we lose the net gain is six dollars from the cost to bet so in this case the probability that we lose is equal to the probability the die is even which is one half so now the expected value for y is equal to one half times the three dollars net gain plus the one half times the negative six dollar loss and this equals to negative 1.5 so for y dollars the expected value is y over six times negative 1.5 which then simplifies to negative y over four so the final Final expected value is the sum of the two scenarios, which is negative x over 4 plus negative y over 4, which we can then translate to negative 1 over 4 x plus y. The only way we can win is if we would have a negative x and y, which is impossible because we can't bet negatively. So the final answer to play optimally is to ignore the scammer genie and not play at all. So let's just bet zero dollars. And if we type this in, we can see that it's correct. Let's put a box around this zero. How exciting.